This is the first time I'm going to do a preview of a book review because it's an exceptional book, a book we've waited for for a long time. That is Ray Kurzweil's The Singularity is Nearer. And this is a book that has been delayed by six or seven years. Now, you know you've risen in the world of futurism when I did reviews of his older books, such as The Age of Spiritual Machines and The Singularity is Near from 2005. I had to buy those books from Borders Bookstore, just like any ordinary layman reader. But in this case, it's different. I got a signed and autographed free copy sent to me in the mail to Kartik. Thanks for your contributions to The Singularity, Ray because I was on a friends and family distribution list. So in terms of futurism, that's one indicator that you've risen in the world and are seen as a futurist by others. Now that being said, I don't have a complete review of this book yet because this is 400 pages and I want to read through the whole thing to do it full justice. And I don't have time to do that right now. I have thumbed through some of the key items though. So we'll give you a preview of what I'm going to say. Interestingly, Ray still keeps to the same dates for major events that he has said decades prior, meaning specifically that he still says the Turing test will be passed by 2029, which is only five years away, and the singularity will be in 2045, which is only 21 years away. Now, in my case, I still say that the singularity is in the early 2060s. I don't have reason to change my estimate yet, and I have described my methodology in detail in this video up here in the upper right hand corner. I may do a 2024 update to that video as well, but the final date of the singularity isn't changing much, so it does not necessarily justify a full update. But in the case of Ray Kurzweil, those are the dates he's sticking with. I also want to read in detail what he's saying about longevity because, as you know, my major disagreement with him is that he says that human lifespan will be radically extended, and I say that it will not because most people are already not using all of the new information that is out there about what not to do. Why are people still consuming high fructose corn syrup and seed oils? When most people are still doing that and don't even know why they shouldn't do that, then you're not going to get radical life extension for average people. And throughout this channel, I give a lot of rationale about that. So I'm going to read his new thoughts on that in great detail. I can see that he's already backing away from his prior claims because in his 1999 book, The Age of Spiritual Machines, he said that by 2029, human lifespan will be 120. And we are in 2024 with exactly no improvement in human lifespan since 1999. So I will have a full and detailed review of his book in the near future, but I just wanted to do this preview video so that everyone knows that this book is out and available and some people have waited a lot of years for it. So you should go out and get a copy if you are interested and then I'll have my review in the near future. Thanks for watching.